Hello students, today we are going to solve uh, the most wanted questions, uh, which are planning questions, uh, paper six, alternative to practical. So this question is always for seven marks and uh, it's probably the last question of every paper six. It's the most important question. Stay with me. Our first question, May, June, 2016, paper six, variant two and question number four. A student is investigating how resistance of a wire depends upon the length of wire. The student aims to plot the graph. Following apparatus is available to student. You have a meter, voltmeter, power supply, variable resistor, switch, connecting leads, resistance wires of different lengths, meter rule. Plan an experiment to investigate how resistance of a wire depends upon the length of wire. So over here, the two things are the most important, which is dependent variable and independent variable. So they say how resistance of wire depends upon length of wire. You can underline them and write your resistance is dependent variable and the length is independent variable okay so dear students let's keep reading so here is our main question i highlighted for you so what you have to do you have to draw a diagram of the circuit you could use and you have to briefly explain how would you carry out the investigation suggest the suitable key variables state the key variables that you would control and draw a table or tables of the column headings to show how would you display your readings? You are not required to enter the reading. So today I will tell you how can you get full marks seven out of seven. So always start your question in the same sequence what they want, but there will be some extra points which I will be telling you as for the new syllabus uh, guidelines, always follow me. So first of all, draw the diagram. Let me tell you, you are not like, uh, supposed to use all of these operators you can choose any of these operators which will help you so there you go our first task is diagram so <clears throat> always make the tabs in the exam whenever you are solving make a first tab diagram so what you will do you will make a power supply like that next to power supply you can make a switch it's an open switch. Okay, this is the power supply. And then next to that, you can make an ammeter. The ammeter's purpose is to measure the current. And on the other side, I'm not connecting any variable resistor. Some people, they say you must, but it's totally fine. And then what you have to do, you need to continue the circuit in such a way that in between them I will connect a resistance wire. I'm making a bit thick with the red color. This is the resistance wire which will be used to find the resistance. So it's the time to label. This is power supply. This is switch, this is a meter. This you have to label as resistance wire. Here, the ends of the resistance wire clearly make a junction. Across the resistance wire, you will do a voltmeter like that. You can make a voltmeter over here like that. Voltmeter should be labeled voltmeter. Okay, as for the requirement of the question, the diagram is labeled even the letters A and V is enough for the voltmeter. So many people, they think that why I did not write uh, 
the variable resistor, it's an uh, extra precaution I will mention in the question. So this is the first thing we are done. Once you are done, you can put a tick over here so that you know what you have done and what you are left with. Now, the next point is uh, explain briefly how would you carry out the investigation. Listen, my dear students, as per the new syllabus, you first have to do here defining the problem. You will make extra tabs. You will say here, independent variable and dependent variable. You will make two tabs over here, one tab as independent variable and one tab as dependent variable. As I told you at the beginning of the question, that in this question, they say how resistance depends upon length. So your independent variable is length of wire in the bracket, you can say L. And the dependent variable is resistance of wire you will write R with the symbol. This is additional point. It can award you one mark. Our next tab will be after that procedure. You can either say procedure or you can say method. Both are the correct words. So you can start simply the way they told you. Uh, I will, this will not give you the mark. <clears throat> I will set up the circuit as shown in the diagram. The next point, number two, will be I will turn on the power supply and measure the current <clears throat> I in the wire using a meter and potential difference V across the wire using voltmeter. This awards you two marks. I will calculate resistance of wire R using R is equals to V upon I the next point, you will say, I will repeat. Experiment for five different lengths. L of wires okay with this you got the procedure completed and it is going to give you one two and three marks the first point is not avoiding any mark this is just the question now the next part they ask you after that put a tick suggest suitable lengths of wires you will give a tab the next one as i told you suitable lengths of wire 
like that. You will make a tab, and here you can write any length. Like uh, I want you not to go beyond two meter, uh, beyond one meter. So stay like five, ten, twenty. Such gaps are good. So you can do like ten centimeters, twenty centimeters, thirty centimeters, forty centimeters, and. 50 centimeters. One thing you need to make sure the largest value should be at least twice the smallest values. Uh, we are done with this. Our next point, go back. They won't state the key control variables. So which variables you will keep constant in order to make the fair comparison. So first you will make a tab as I told you before. So tab will be key variables. to be controlled. You will write to make the experiment fair like that. To make a fair experiment comma I will keep colon like that like that you have to write same material of wire same material of wire same diameter of wire same temperature. You don't have to write all of them. If any variable is given in the question, do not write because it will not award you the mark. You can write any one of these three. You don't have to write all of them. Let's go back. After key variables, you want to draw a table. Table whenever you want to make. First of all, let's make a tab again. So whenever you want to make a table, I suggest you to always start with independent variable. Your independent variable is what you are changing. So that is length. If you gave a symbol already, you can say L slash meters. If you use centimeters, you can use L slash meters. Both are correct. You can say L with centimeters or meters. Then what you measured, you measured the current I, Amperes. You measure the potential difference V, volts. You calculated the resistance R slash ohms. Then you will leave this table completely empty. Just make the columns like that. One, two, three, and that's it. Dear students, please keep in your mind your first column of the table should be always independent variable you don't have to write this i'm just telling you and the last should be always dependent variable anything in between like uh, uh, like uh, the readings of voltmeter or current you must include them with this your table also gone okay now they did not ask you anything but i suggest you for the cambridge point of view to get full marks always in the end write conclusion always try to write a general conclusion so that you can get as many marks as possible so general conclusion is i will plot a graph of resistance r against length L of wire and compare the trend. So this is an ideal way to get full marks seven out of seven in any planning question. So always go with tabs no matter what they ask you, like independent variable, dependent variable, method, 
suitable lengths, like suitable values of independent variable and uh, key variables to be controlled, table, conclusion. Although sometimes they ask you precautions, I will mention in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.